Good morning, everyone, and welcome to another stream for today. Uh, this one, this one's proudly sponsored by, supported by, and supplied by the amazing people at Radlicker Games. Radlickergames.com, check them out. Welcome to the stream, Jerko. Hey, hey, hey. Uh, this one's called Murder is Game Over, Streaming Death. Now, I did stream part one of this game. Uh, it was just called Murder is Game Over. It was a great little game. Uh, if you're watching this back on my YouTube channel, check out the description. I will put the link for the first game in the series and vice versa. So you can check out both games. Uh, but once again, if you're watching me live right now, my Twitch channel, I want to say hi, how you doing? And thank you for watching. Thank you for everyone who's calling past. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, if you're watching this back on my YouTube channel, don't forget to like and subscribe. And once again, hi, how's your dog? And thanks for watching. Come visit me over on Twitch, Twitter, and YouTube. That's Marble M A R B R O L A Y. Why not? Okay, there's the uh, settings. <clears throat> Let's uh, let me tell you about this game before we start. Team up with your dog to investigate a baffling uh, murder mystery. Join Detective Guy and his trusty sidekick, Cleo, the clue-sniffing dog, as they investigate the mysterious death of a social media starlet in the isolated seaside village. As you explore the surrounding coastline, search for clues and interview suspects. Can you solve the case and bring the guilty party to justice? Beware the ghostly curse plaguing the area, or Guy and Cleo might end up being the next victims in a sinister affair. So the game features standalone whodunit in the murder uh, in the murder it's game over series so you don't need to play the first game to actually play this game they're standalone games so just let you know play as a detective and a dog criming a dog crime solving team explore the eerie seaside village and search for clues interview suspects and make deductions solve the case and app apprehend the guilty party uh once again the publisher of this game is radlica games check them out the gene is an adventure uh, release plan releases today the 16th of, of August 2024 support a language in English uh, the developer of the game is Hithion Games and Mirrored in 4 it's available for the Nintendo Switch the PS4 the PS5 the Xbox One Xbox Series S and X uh, today I'm on the Xbox Series X kicking it up let's start the game murder is game over streaming death okay so press the A button to advance the game text introduction Massachusetts Coast present day. Okay, so welcome to this month's meeting of the Cape Crescent Historical Social. I'm the beginning of the office that I'm minutes now. We're blessed to have everyone with us this evening. Dr. Dr. Tard, Gordon, and you, Camilla, our fearless leader. Where are your manners? Who is this new girl in the back of the room? Oh, this, ah, uh, this month we have a visitor. Say hello to Pearl Brayshaw. Pearl is, why don't you tell us your group yourself? Um, hi, my name is Pearl, and I'm visiting Cape Crescent from the city of for a while. She's obviously the social, you know, the streamer, uh, the YouTuber, what do you want to call her? The social media person that's going to get killed. I'm a, so yeah, see, see, I'm a social media streamer who focuses on paranormal mysteries when I'm not gaming. When I'm not playing some Fortnite. In two weeks time on a Thursday from my garage <laughs> then you certainly come to the right place welcome to Cape uh, Cape Crescent Pearl hey you're an e-girl e Pearl on the internet you're a big-time influencer yep well, that's me Pearl dear if you're interested you can accompany us on a walk to the lost settlement tomorrow the lost settlement is an abandoned uh, Puritan village nearby according to the legend of the area is haunted Obviously, she's, you know, she's going to get killed by one of these people, I reckon. Your, ir your irresponsible fools shouldn't go in there. That place has been under a terrible curse since the colonial times. It's like a Scooby-Doo game, guys. Like, who done it? scooby dooby doo where are you? Got some fun to tell you. Take it easy, Gordon. Even the kids didn't see anything strange during the group's last visit. Sure, I'd love to go. That would be awesome. I could even film it for my stream. What's that? At the window. Look. No, it can't be. <laughs> it's definitely like Scooby-Doo. It's the ghost. The ghost of Ellis Abel. Ellis Abel? From the witch trials in go olden times? This is all my doing. Forgive me, Lord. What do you mean, Father? It's a di diabolical omen. I warned you. I warned you all. My camera's dead. I said I'd fix it. Are we really being tormented?
The ghost is gone. The investigation. It's kind of like that scene there where it was a Tintin and Snowy. The following morning. Detective Dudley. <laughs> I have to admit Dudley. It's from a scary movie too, isn't it? And um... Was it a scary movie? And uh... What's the other one? I can't remember what it's called. Ghostface. What's it called Ghostface? Scream. The mystery is solved. Nothing to see here, Detective Guy. You and your dog, Cleo, can both go home. We were asked to come out at the moment's notice because of the suspicious death. You're too late. The resources Detective Dudley have already taken care of the business at the hand. He says the case is solved. What are we supposed to do now, Cleo? Definitely like Tintin, eh? Tintin cross between Scooby-Doo. Since you're hanging around, you can both take a lesson from my experimental investigation. Cleo's getting pissed. Do I take that you're stumped already? Would you like to know first? Uh, controls the case. I know how to play the game. Alright, detective. Time to listen and learn. My identity. I'm just gonna go ready because I know how to play it. This is obviously suicide, and you really should just go home. But if you insist, you can still look for clues on Gallows Point. In the unlikely event that you all find something I missed, by all means, come back and tell me. But this is my case, Detective Guy. I appreciate if you keep your mutt out of my way too. All right, Claire, let's go find the victim's body. Okay, so there's a button we can change. Okay, so when we go play as Cleo, Cleo can see things. In other words, it's got the dog senses that um hmm. that we can't. Is this fart? Hmm. No, he hummed. So I'm going to use the dog at the moment, just in case. Okay, so there she she's dead there. Okay, she's face down, just dead. They haven't even removed the body. It's the body of the victim, Pearl Brayshaw. Gee, she looks like she's in her early 20s. Can it really be possible that she, that this poor young woman hanged herself with a rope? No, you're right, Cleo. The rope is old and falling apart. There's no way it would have supported the weight of her body. There's also no rope burn on her neck. That proves it. Pearl Brayshaw didn't hang herself. Detective Dudley is wrong. He's not going to be happy to hear this, but maybe he'll stop interfering with me now. Do we go back and tell him? I'm not too sure. What's that there? Kind of glowing at me? That's flowers. Now you can use the D-pad and you can use the uh, stick. I prefer to use a bit of both. I'm going playing the D-pad now. Ah, clue? So Cleo found a clue. There's an engraving on the mom uh, momentum. At this spot in 19, uh, 1692, a minister named L.S. Abel was hanged by the Putins for the crime of witchcraft. This man called Elias, Elias, Elias sorry, Abel, was hanged here in the colonial times. I guess that's why a park is called Gallows Point. What a morbid name. For more information on Elias Abel and their witch trials, visit the Cape Crescent Public Library. The clue is saved to your cassette file. Cleo is a... Uh, 90 G's, guys. Elias Abu statue. That's an achievement, and it's a good achievement, too. It's a diamond achievement. It feels more natural playing with the D-pad, to be honest. Now... I'm just going to go back up. I'm going to go up, not back up here. I'm going to go up here just to check some stuff out. Hey, Hester. Who the hell is Hester? The dog's name's Hester. She seems friendly. Why is she roaming around alone like this? What do you want, Hester? I don't have any dog toys. Something tells me this dog is going to be important. I guess we'll be seeing you around, Hester. I guess so. Hmm. What button was to drop them again? X. I'm going to go here because I want to... Oh. Hmm. Okay, so Officer Erickson. Let's go see him. <laughs> He's running away from me. Good morning, Detective. I'm so glad you can make it. We need you on this case. I know Detective Zelda can be a handful, but deep down he's committed to justice and doing the right thing. Trust me. Okay, so she's, uh, she's a girl. Good looking one, too. Detective Dully hasn't found any clues in this area, but maybe Cleo can. Compared to Cleo, you're a clue-sniffing dog. I don't think us people are very observant. You should explore with Cleo in front. 
Uh, this way you'll see how yet we know. We've already found one, blah, blah, blah. Go and investigate. Clues when a PF guy is the partner leader, though, so make sure you take advantage of it. Okay, so we know we're just basically just teaching us now. So we know this one here. It's a cross here. Cleo found a clue. Okay, it looks like a religious crucifix. Someone's dropped it by mistake. What's it doing here in the yellow point? The clue is safe. You can set file. Blah, blah, blah. Okay, so... I think we need to go back and talk to the uh, Dudley. Or Dooley? Dooley Dudley? I can't remember what it was called in, um, in the screen, but... I'm getting the vibes of that. That's a rock in my way. There's a rock in my way, de liar, de liar. There's a rock in my way. Oh, there's a tree in my way now. Okay, let's go and see. I didn't know. I didn't realize it was bold. Nope, I'm not taking. I'm uh, talking. Okay, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Okay, so. I found Pearl's Rachel's body and it doesn't look like she's suicide to me. She didn't hang herself, did he think Dudley? Of course she did. What are you talking about? The rope around her neck is frayed and tattered. It's so old, it may have been even antique. If Pearl had tried using it uh, to hang herself, it wouldn't have been strong enough to support her body weight. When something hangs in, when someone hangs himself, the rope leaves an abrasion on the neck and the body falls. A rope burn. There's no rope burn on Pearl's Rachel's neck. This invalidates your idea that she hanged herself. A mere conjecture, detective guy. If you put effort into your exploring gallows put, you realize how wrong you are. This guy's a dick! It's obvious that there's no evidence of another person here being in the park. Pearl Brasher had to have hanged herself simply because nobody else was here. You are you and Cleo need to get a clue. <laughs> but someone else was here at the park, and I can prove it. Oh yeah, how? The other person who came here at Gallows Point left a clue behind. Let me show you. Ah, uh, crucifix. Someone left behind the crucifix. Hey, you're right. What's this crucifix doing here? I don't know, but it proves there, there was... Blah, blah, blah. But it proves there was another person in this park. Probably the same person who killed Pearl Brayshaw. Then how did she die? Pearl Brayshaw didn't hang herself. That's what I'm afraid. Tattered rope. Somebody strangled her. Hmm, strangulation. That means her death was... Murder. Okay, so we know... Uh, what was I going to say? I don't know, I just completely forgot what I was going to say. Yes, yes, of course it does. I knew that all along. One of the residents of Cape Crescent's uh, reporting seeing a young man nearby, near Gallows Point last night. It's probably the same person who dropped the crucifix and who strange, strangled Pearl Brayshaw. Hold on, I think you're jumping to conclusions a little too fast once again. Nonsense. I'm going to be back to the village to block off the village to the mainland. That way our man can't escape. That sounds like a good idea, Detective Dudley. For once. If you and Cleo want to help, you can search Cape Crescent and ask the other residents for information about the perpetrator. There, is, there are seven other residents in the Cape Crescent. Each one of them is a person of interest. Okay. I'll be at the bridge, ready to catch the young man when he tries to flee the scene. But we don't know for sure that the mystery was a young man in the killer. The seven residents are suspects too. Uh, then when you flush out the uh, culprit, you meet me at the bridge. I'll make the arrest. In other words, he just takes all the glory. Nice work, Claire. You can take the path back to Cape Crescent, uh, back to Cape Crescent, and the investigation each person of their interest. The park is, is just south of where we are standing. Let's go. Okay, so that's we can do hints and save. This is save. Change. Um, let's do it. Okay, so we unlocked a new area. Nice and peaceful. Can't walk across here. Can we? No. I'm gonna go left because what the hell? Baby! <laughs> Baby took off. It's a pretty cool game. If you're in these type of games, guys, Hester's back. And make sure you pick out uh, murder is game over and murder is game over streaming hmm. death. Hmm. It's Hester again. What's uh, what's she doing here? Say 
want to do a face up. I can see Cape Crescent's village uh, center just down the road. We're almost there, Cleo. Okay, so village center. Sound of the village of Cape Crescent's despite appearances, someone in this quite seaside village could be the cold blooded killer. Hmm. Okay, so he's a stranger. We don't know who he is yet. Let's just go and see the stranger. Oh, he's just Bolden. Who is that? Okay, so he took off. <laughs> okay, he's not half sus. Sure, I can talk now. That the morning rush is over. I kind of feel like I need to go back and find the guy that is rushed off. Suspect added to case file. Geo Harding, the victim's roommate, and coffee shop barista. Ooh, I can go a coffee right now. Okay, so we go through the identity. Uh, my name's Jill Harding, and I was Pearl's roommate. She lived with me just for over a month, along with her dog. So her, her dog's name is Hester, I reckon. I'm renting one of the cottages up the wood lane in the northwest. Pearl came to the Cape Crescent to get out of the lion line a bit. Uh, the victim. As a social media star, Pearl got all kinds of attention from the public and the internet, even death threats. Sorry, I'm just, uh, just adjusting the headset. She was my best friend. About a month ago, she contacted me and said she wanted to leave the big city for a while. I said she could lay low here until the drama she was dealing with subsided. You know, she was famous on the internet. She took her career on social media influence very seriously, a little more serious than I'd have liked. Our agreement was that she'd help out with the rent, but she spent all her money on production equipment and charitable, charitable causes. She used the popularity to raise money and help her fans in need. Last month, she did a charity campaign for a kid with cancer. Isn't that nice? Uh, what is? Very nice. Pell always meant well, but she never paid the rent. And then does that give that, does it give the person a good, you know, a good excuse for killing her? Maybe. Maybe not. Ghosts. That was her thing. When Pearl was, uh, wasn't playing video games, she was empathetic about the paranormal. When I told her about the lost settlement and the legend of Elias Abel's ghost, she agreed to move in. Last night, Pearl came home from the meeting at the library and was really shaken up. Talking about ghosts was normal for Pearl, but whatever happened, this time was unusual. Oh, the cottage is currently locked until I get uh, off work. I'll let you in and look, take a look at look. I'll let you look. I'll let you in to look for clues later. That took a while to get out. Your alibi. After Pearl came back home from the library last night, a couple of hours later, she left and went out again. She said she'd be able to take care of the late, uh, the late rent I had been pestering her for, especially since she bought that fancy new camera. Pearl didn't like to talk about money. It was always a touchy subject for her. She didn't elaborate on what her sources of income was. I think she wanted to keep it a secret for some reason. I stayed out waiting for Pearl to come back and to bring her a share of the rent, but she never returned. Roy Parker came to vouch for me in uh, Roy Parker can vouch for me me being at home and waiting for Pearl. Suspicions? After Pearl disappeared, her boyfriend, Roy Parker, showed up at the cottage unexpectedly. He said he hadn't seen Pearl since she left the city and moved in with me. He wanted to talk about Pearl and their relationship. I told Roy that I didn't uh, know where Pearl was, other than she went out to meet someone that set him off. Maybe the dude that had the red hair that just took off was his was her boyfriend. Of course, Roy took that to mean Pearl had gone out to meet another man. He stormed out in the night to go look for her. I didn't think Roy is capable of crime of passion like this, but he was totally irate last night. I've been keeping my hand, my head down here. Have the police found Roy yet? Obviously it wasn't because if he was standing there, she would have said, you know, you know, that's him there. Suspects found one out of, uh, one of eight total. Now let's, uh, let's head. Actually, it's not. Oh, I keep pressing the wrong button. Okay, so we've got a clue up here that Cleo's found. It's a paper bag. I don't know what it is. Hey. Cleo found a doggy bag. No, Cleo, we don't have time to eat now. We've got a mystery to solve. All right, we'll take a doggy bag with us after all we solve the case. I promise you get an amazing treat. I bet there are at least 40. Okay, so it's like a thing you're going to collect. It's like a little thing you're going to collect. Hey, it's another one over here. We might as well go and collect these. 40 of them to collect in the game. Two or 40 guys. So it just kind of adds to the game as well. I keep pressing the wrong damn button, don't I? 
Hmm. Okay, so there is a... Oh, that button again. I do apologize. I just keep pressing the wrong button. <laughs> I want to find that dude that just took off. That's a wall, I think. What are the chances like a doggy bag bean just around here? No, we would see it. I thought it might be behind Gordon Cutler. Let's just go and investigate a couple of more things before we speak to some more people. There's another doggy bag. How do we get that? Okay, we've got, we've got four now. Four. 36 to go. We're moving up in the world. Once again, this stream is proudly sponsored by, supported by, and supplied by the great people at Rattling Games. Rattling Games, guys, check them out. Once again, if you look playing, watching this back, not playing this back, if you're watching this back on my YouTube channel, check out the description, because there's a link in there that contains the, uh, the footage, the gameplay footage for uh, Murder is Game Over Part 1 of the series. <coughs> Damn. It's Hester again. What's she doing here? Obviously, Hester's her dog. It's going to solve some problems for me. Okay, so... Hmm. Let's change up to Guy and talk to Gordon. Good old Gordon. What do you want, detective? Suspect added. Your identity. Excuse me, I've already taken that to Detective Dummy. One saying he didn't take me seriously. The name's Gordon Cutler, and I run Cutler Fisheries. The business here has been my family for six generations. What's left of this once great family business anyway? As you can see, my warehouse is falling apart. It's shameful. How am I supposed to catch fish these days? Over the last few years, all the fish in this bay have become sickly. Okay, the victim. Unfortunately, it looks like that poor sweet girl is the latest victim of the village curse. Pearl's body was found near the statue of Elias of Earl, right? That's enough for the expectation for me. Since the days of the witch trials, the ghost has been enacting his revenge on that, our own community. My family always told me to stay away from the goat lost settlement because of the curse of that place. However, not everyone in the Cape Crescent historical social has been so pertinent. It seems cruel that Pearl Bayshaw, an outsider who was new to the town, should pay the price. The ghost? You can stoop around all you want, but as far as I'm concerned, uh, the girl was killed by the village ghost. We all saw old Elias last night at the library. He's been tormenting us here since the days of the lost settlement. My ancestors were part of the Putin mob who had Elias and Bell hanged. This is a payback. <coughs> Pardon me, guys. The family business was suffered as a result, but at least I'm still alive. I'm not tempting fate. If I were you, I'd leave ghosts from on the past alone, too. Your alibi? You really think I had something to do with the, uh, the new girl's death? That's something. It so happens that last night I was out talking with uh, Camilla Crescent after a historical social meeting. My buddy Todd Beckett was there too, but he went home early. Camilla and I stayed until the sunrise. I'm playing it safe and staying away. I don't want my buddy to turn up dead at Gallows Point next. Suspicions? Dr. Innes Keen always seems suspicious of Wolf to me. She still seems doesn't believe the ghost. Dr. Keen spent her nights just walking around the cemetery like someone kind of witch. Now that's weird. Off for now, sir. Suspects found to a date. I keep pressing the wrong button. I do apologize. <laughs> it's just one of those things, I guess. Let's head down here. Oh, Detective Dully's cut off the bridge. Can we go this way? We can. I reckon there's a bag up here. There has to be a bag. Yeah, there is. This is number five, I think. Number six? Man, I'm getting ahead of myself. This is good. Love the soundtrack in the background. Especially that, you know, that creepiness was cool. Okay, we can head up here. Hmm. Okay, so... Um, once again, I do apologize. What's that? Is that just a light? Okay, so we found something here. Uh, the Book of the Curse. I'm not going to read it. Did I say yes to reading it? I think I just did. 
That's the outcome of the wish trials. I did... Ah, oh, yeah, I did press it, didn't I? At the outcome of the wish trials, Elias Abel was sentenced to hang from the saffron on Gallows Point. Before he was executed, Elias uh, Abel was cursed the village. He vowed that the settlement would survive of the land that had been unjustly taken from him. Within five years of his death, Elias Abel's curse proved to be true. The Putin's new settlement was abandoned due to fame, feminine disease, and fear. The new settlement of the Putin's of Elias Abel's land became known as the Lost Settlement and is soon shunned by the nearby villagers. To be continued. Okay. Lucky it didn't go on for too long because I wasn't in the mood to read the whole book. So I'm going to keep going up here until I actually find, obviously, Listen. Okay, let's read it. In the late 1600s, there lived a wealthy, I was going to say wanker, <laughs> Quaker uh, businessman named Elias Abel. He owned the land known for a lost settlement and built a small church there. Led by the uh, jealous leaders of the rival Putin church, the Cape Crescent villagers sought to seize possession of Elias Abel's land for their own use. Thus, in 19... Thus, in 1692, the height of the Salem witch trial hit a hysteria, Elias Abo was accused of witchcraft. Not, not tolerating the public pressure, he, even his own congregation turned on him. Elias Abo's assurers proved that the minister's powerful, booming voice and eloquent simos, uh, sermons could only be the work of the devil. Abo was found guilty. Okay, let's go and uh, could you be continued? Go and get my bag. My doggy bag. Number seven. Uh, we've got another thing to read. We've also got another bag. So I'm going to read it, click this bag. Camilla's down there. I'm not going to talk to her just yet. Number book three now. Cape Crescent today reigns a small village inhabited by some direct descendants of Putin's from the witch trial era. The Lost Settlement is still an uninhabited ghost town returning to forest. Uh, nothing but cellars holes in the old quaking meeting house still standing. The area is filled with folk legends and Elias Abel's ghost appearing. With the centuries old curse still cited as blame for the recent spells of the deceased and the vicinity. Cape Crescent's locals stay out of the Lost Settlement for fear of supernatural danger. The Cape Crescent Historical Social meets once a month here at the library. The end. Okay, we read all three books. So it's uh, got an achievement, guys. A uh, rare achievement unlock 90 G's library books. Another rare achievement. I love the rare achievements because the sound, the sound is pretty cool, and you get that diamond as well. Get my other bag. Shouldn't be too hard to find all no, uh, all 40 books as well. Let's see what this computer look. It's a video footage from the Cape Crescent Historical Social Meeting last night. There it is, there's a ghost. It's a ghost, the ghost of Elias Abel. El Elias Abel from the Wish Trials in Golden Times? This is all my doing, forgive me Lord. We've already read this, so I'm not gonna read it again. The ghost, he's gone. What do you make of that, Cleo? <laughs> Cleo's just like, nah. No idea. No idea. I'm gonna save it, guys. Ah, uh, yes. And there we go. Murder is game over streaming death gameplay. Once again, if you want to check out gameplay of the first game, uh, check out my YouTube description and there'll be a link there and vice versa. You can check out both games. Very good games. I really enjoyed them. Once again, big shout out to Rattle Liquor Games for sending me this game. Uh, just got released today, the 16th of August, 2024. Nintendo Switch, PlayStation consoles and Xbox consoles. Yeah, it's a good game. What do we think about it? I really like this game. It's my type of game. I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. I didn't find any bugs or glitches with it. Decent 9 out of 10. If you're into these type of things, pixelated, retro style... Uh, Scooby-Doo, cross between Tintin, Murder, Who Done It type of style. Uh, make sure you pick up both games because they're both great games. I really like it. Uh, once again, if you're watching this back on my YouTube channel, please hit that like button. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. It is free. I'm not lying. I'm not trying to trick you. 
it doesn't cost you anything. Uh, help my channel grow. I really do appreciate it. Thank you in advance. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Come visit me over on Twitch, Twitter, and YouTube. That's Marbrelay, which is M-A-R-B-R-O-L-A-Y. Why not? I'd like to thank everyone for calling past today's live stream. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Once again, big shout out to Ray Liga Games for sending me this game. Thank you. Check them out, guys. Ray Liga Games. Great people. Great games. Make sure you take care of yourselves and ones you love. Don't forget to feed your pets. Remember, the name's Marbrelay. Say hi to your dog for me. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.